Hi there! This is Sarah with WHMCS. Today, we're going to walk through creating products and product groups in WHMCS. Products are the main method for billing your customers. When they're ordered, WHMCS uses the settings you configured for your products to generate an invoice. Before you can create products, you need to create at least one product group. Product groups organize your products on the order form, with each group having its own page. To do this, click the configuration icon and go to System Settings, and then down here to Products and Services. From this page, click Create a new group. First, enter a name for the group. This is the name users will see on the order form. The URL lets you create a friendly, human-readable address for the group. You can accept the name that's generated from the group name, or you can enter one yourself. The headline and tagline display on the group's page in the order form. If you want to use a different template, you can select that here. Then, select the payment gateways you want to use. If you want to hide the group on the order form, check Hidden here. We recommend creating products and product groups as hidden until you're done configuring everything. Finally, click Save Changes. The interface is going to send me back to the main Products and Services page. So now that that's done, I'm going to add a product for my product group. Let's click Create a new product. There are four product types that you can select. Shared hosting, reseller hosting, server VPS, and other. Select the product group here, and then enter a display name for the product. If you want this product to use a module for automation, you can select that here. I'll show you why you would do this a little further in the process. Toggle this to hide or display your product on the client side order form. Remember, we recommend creating products as hidden until you're done configuring everything. Then, click Continue. This will create the new product, and then you can use everything on this new page to configure it further. Make sure to check out every tab and configure your settings. I'm going to go over just a couple of the most important areas here. The Details tab includes the settings from the previous page, plus a few other items. I'm going to highlight a couple of the most important ones. The description here displays on the client order form, and it should contain details about your product. So, if I enter this here, this is what it's going to look like to customers. The welcome email goes out to the customer when the product is activated. You can use the templates that ship with WHMCS, or you can customize your own. Check Require Domain to require a domain registration with an order of the product. Make sure to enable this for hosting, but disable it for other products that don't need a domain name. Here you're usually going to want to check Apply Tax to apply your tax rules to the product. You can configure your tax rules in the Tax Configuration interface. And finally, checking Featured is more important for some templates than others and helps you promote your best seller. The Pricing tab lets you determine the price of your product and how WHMCS handles selling it. I want to sell this shared hosting on a recurring basis so that accounts will pay for it on a regular schedule. So I'm choosing recurring as my payment type. This will show a table of fees. Before you can set prices here, you're going to need to check enable under the billing frequencies that you want to offer. Then you can enter both a setup fee and the price to bill at that frequency. Make sure to do this for each currency that you have configured. You can then run down the rest of these settings, which tell WHMCS how to handle multiple quantities in an order, 
billing cycles and termination, and pro rata billing. The module settings tab lets you set more about how WHMCS will interact with the associated module. I selected cPanel earlier because that's what my servers for this product are running. And so the rest of the tab displays information that's specific to the cPanel module. So this module lets me configure a hosting package just like in WHM. Pick the server group to use for this and select a package or use the default like I'm doing. Click over here to switch to advanced mode, which will give you the full form of all of the package settings to create and name a package. Otherwise, simple mode will let you work with just the essentials. For metric billing, you can toggle which parts of the hosting package are billed incrementally. Click configure pricing to set all the options. I'm going to leave everything else on the default, but I want to bill for more email accounts. So I'm going to enter the amount included with the initial package purchase, and then I'm going to set this at 10 cents per additional email address. Down here at the bottom, you can also select whether and when to automatically set up the product after purchase. In the other tabs, you can add custom fields to collect data from users when they order the product, add configurable options to assign a configurable option group, offer upgrades to the available packages, configure offers for a free domain, and configure settings for affiliates, subdomains, associated downloads, and other items in the Other tab. You can also click the Links tab to see the links for this specific product. So, when I switch over to viewing the order form, I can see the product I just created ready to sell to customers. Once I have all of my products added to the group, the order form will end up looking something like this. After setting up your products, depending on what you're selling and how you want to sell it, you may want to configure a domain registrar, payment gateways, and several other items. For help setting these up, see our documentation and our other tutorials. Links are in the description below. We hope this video helped you with setting up your products in WHMCS. If it did, make sure to like and share. For more information about WHMCS, the world's leading automation platform of choice, hit subscribe under the video or visit whmcs.com.